The United Nations is once again at the center of action for the next two weeks. This against the background of the most controversial election campaigns in U.S. history. However, beyond the effervescence of the campaigns, Manhattan in general and First Avenue in particular, the seat of the UN building, is completely calm this weekend. The streets are near empty, but for a few taxis and personal vehicles. No country's flag floats around the UN building. But preparations are hotting up for Monday's opening when the UN building will be covered with the flags of member countries. For now, delegations are queuing up for accreditation. It takes patience to have one. I just got mine and therefore ready for Monday's opening. For now, entry into the UN building is prohibited. The gates are manned by UN security forces and all attempts to have access are fought by the dry face and emotionless security officials. The posters and writings on the walls of the UN building tell the story of what would be the focal point of discussion at the 71st UN General Assembly of the United Nations Organization. Aside the general debates, the question of how to manage refugees and migrants will be at the center of discussion and the hodgepodge of political deliberations. Cameroon, for instance, is host to hundreds of thousands of refugees and other displaced persons. Cameroon stands with refugees. Paul Bia's country leaves no refugee behind and ensures that every refugee child gets education. This perhaps explains why President Paul Bia is going to be the Trump card at this year's General Assembly and for his country to stand tall, in fact even taller, than the Trump building in Manhattan. I mean in matters of refugee management. George Wano, special assignment for Sarah TV News, UN General Assembly, New York.